Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. Honestly, tell me when the last time I filmed a video here was because I don't remember. It has been a minute since I filmed a video in front of this. But I wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me, just to kind of talk to you guys, fill you guys up. Even though I have been vlogging a lot, um, there's like a, there's still a little bit of a disconnect, even though you guys like see my day all the time now. Um, there's still like something just missing. You know what I mean? And I think these really do a great job at doing that. Honestly, I have not been this full beat in probably months, so it's kind of crazy to have this much makeup on right now, but I feel like I kind of look like myself again, but I also feel like I don't look like myself right now. Do you guys like know what I mean? If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Um, yeah, just subscribe. It's somewhere around here, and if you want to click the bell, you can. I don't know if that actually does anything, but my mom, the other day, like, didn't get notified when I uploaded a video. My mom, you know my mom, like, watches my videos like crazy, right? All right, so let's get on to the video. Now that I have my like bandana hair mask thing on and I look crazy, we're good to start. So I got this new swell, isn't this so cute? I love new swells because it makes me drink water. My friend Emily, um, Emily June, she works at Milk and she sent me a few of their stuff. So Em, if you're watching this, Thank you so much. So yeah, this is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, and um, it seems to me that it's like act, it acts as a primer. I'm not gonna put this everywhere. Okay, well, I don't know if it blurred anything, but um, it was fun to put on. This is um, Makeup Fiber HD Ultra Foundation Stick. I've said before that I don't really like this stick. It kinda breaks me out a little bit. This is a MAC 130. This brush is so cute. I have been so go, go, go with like fitness and spinning and my like health regimen lately that I have not sat down <clears throat> to glam in so long. It's been crazy. It makes me a little sad. But at the same time, it makes me view makeup like differently. Does that make, like, I don't know how to make that sound not bad. I mean, I still love it just as much. I just don't look at it how I used to. I don't, I don't even know how I used to look at it. I think I used to look at makeup as like, I had to have it on to feel good about myself and to feel pretty. But now I've just sort of like learned to embrace my natural beauty. And um, I really like my face without makeup on. So I found that I've caught myself less putting myself down, um, which I think is really important. And um, I've learned to not be dependent on my makeup, which is also something that I realized through, this is the Chanel Tan de Soleil powder. Um, I've realized that through being much more natural with my makeup, how much I was depending on my makeup. And that's not a bad thing if you are, but I just didn't know that I was until I stopped wearing so much of it and kind of took a little hyenas from like a big glam. Now don't get me wrong, I was still wearing makeup. Um, I was just wearing it a lot less and when I would wear makeup, it would, it wasn't like a full beat. Yeah, like I was wearing a full face still, but I wasn't like, I had a routine that I liked and I thought I looked good in and it was like a normal person's makeup routine. Do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't like I stopped wearing makeup or anything like that. It was just more like normal makeup. Yeah, I guess normal makeup. Like I wasn't being like Nikki Tutorials every day of my life. And don't get me wrong, it is fun to be Nikki Tutorials every day of your life. This is going on a tangent and I don't mean it to. You guys know, I talk about this all the time, but like David Dobrik's vlogs, like they're just sneaky, they get you. They really like pull you in every single video. It's like, I just have to watch one more. Like how can you not? It's only um, four minutes and 20 seconds. Like you have, you have four minutes and 20 seconds. All of, all of us do. He is sneaky, that David Dobrik. That's how he gets us all. I don't have my proper under eye brush. It's downstairs, so I'm using a MAC 227 to set my under eyes. Kind of thoroughly enjoying it. I really like this powder when you're not taking pictures in it. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. Um, it is so amazing. I think, like if I remember correctly, I think this is made with like actual silk in it and it really does like erase your pores, but it has horrible flashback. So if you bake with this or if you plan on taking any flashback photography, it's horrible, do not use it. I'm dying without my spray tans. I'm getting one tomorrow. Good, now that my base is on, I am human yet again. All right, let me get these brows on. How about we just talk for a minute about how the fact that 
Bryson Tiller dropped this album on us. Like, um, hello, light of my life. Like, thank you so much. Sometimes you don't even know that you need a blessing in your life until you get it. Yo, who remembers David Archuleta? Like, <clears throat> I had such a crush on him. Every time he would come on American Idol, I would get butterflies in my stomach, my little eight-year-old self washing. You know that tweet where it's like, quote this tweet and stand up for what you believe in? I stand up for Clay Aiken. You know, if you put a little concealer under your brows, it'll hide the fact that you haven't gotten them waxed in over a year. All right, so I'm using the Morphe 350 palette today. Um, this was the prom makeup look that I did in my senior year. Um, so I'll just link that blog down below because this isn't like a toot, it's more like a get ready with me. So um, I'm not really gonna like walk through it step by step, but it's so simple. I texted my mom today and I was like, love you, miss you. And she was like, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing, I just love you and I miss you. And then she's like, oh, okay, guess what I just did? I just booked us a trip to Hawaii. I'm like, because I said I love you and I miss you? No, it's, um, it's for my grandma's birthday in February. She was born in Hawaii and she was raised in Hawaii until the Pearl Harbor attack. And it's actually a really cool story. Where she grew up was under attack. They wanted to get out of Hawaii. So they wanted to go to California, but um, planes like weren't an option then, I guess. Um, so they took the first boat that they could to get out of Hawaii and go to California. And it was actually a boat that was carrying soldiers. So the Japanese were aiming missiles at that boat that my grandma and her family was on. So um, yeah, they had like Japanese boats surrounding their boat and trying to take it down. But she survived it and uh, now she's my grandma and now we're going back to Hawaii. We They go to Hawaii all the time. Well, my grandparents did. My, um, my grandma is the wife of my grandfather that just passed away. So this is going to be our first trip to Hawaii without him. So I'm glad that we're all going. It'll be my first time to Hawaii. I know my grandma probably would have wanted my grandpa to be there for the trip and I know I do too, but he shall be there in spirit and it'll be really fun. Is anyone like obsessed with Shut the Kale Up or is it just me? Because I like seriously, like I idolize that woman. I want so badly for her to like be my aunt or my mom or something. And I also just want her to invite me over for like a home cooked meal because I just want to like taste her cooking. Like, oh, AJ and Elliot are lucky men. They just get to have her cooking all the time. Elliot's gonna go to a friend's house and gonna be like, the mom's gonna be like, oh, you want Kraft mac and cheese? And he's like, what's that? Like, he's gonna be like, I'm used to eating mushrooms and all this good stuff. And what is Kraft mac and cheese? Who else cried at Acacia's vlog when she gave birth? Because I did. I cried a lot. <laughs> like, no shame. I cried so much. All right, let's see if she still has it in her to wing it. She still got it. You know what? Let me take a sip out of my new swell. Oh, I love a new swell. The lashes today are, I think they're Ardell Demi 120s. I think I'm ready to jump out the window. Ooh, you know what I wanna get? I wanna get Queen Bees by Coco Lashes, I think they are, or maybe I mixed it up. I don't know, but I saw Alina wear them at BeautyCon and I was like, give me those lashes. Like I was literally about to take them off her eye and put them onto my eye because I was so in love with them when I first saw them. I was like, holy amazing. Those are the lashes I've been looking for my whole life. Oh lord. Does anyone else think Jenna Marbles can pull off red hair better than like anyone I've ever seen? I just watched her video where she dyed her hair herself and literally it looks like so good. Also, don't ask me for a hair twirl because I just got back from the hair salon. I had to get like two tape-ins retaped because they were like sliding out because I sweat like every day of my life um, profusely. So I was like, I need a little help. So, um, and it was my friend, so I was like, when you're done, if you just wanna like curl my hair too, like I won't complain. I also wanna share something really cool. So when I first started with makeup, the one brand that <clears throat> I always wanted and I would always talk about was MAC um, because I started when MAC was like the brand. Like a lot of the other brands were like, they were all there, they were all like really cool, but like MAC was the brand to get. So um, when I first started collecting makeup and wearing makeup and stuff, I only wanted MAC. Uh, and I would order a bunch of e.l.f. stuff and dupe it as MAC all the time. But obviously it wasn't the same. So uh, at the time, a MAC single eyeshadow was $13. 
and I was like, honestly, $13 is not that bad for a single eyeshadow. Like, I'm just gonna do it one day. So the first one that I ever bought was Woodwinks. And when I say I spent all my money at MAC, I literally mean I spent all of my money at MAC. MAC was like it for me. And then the other day on Instagram, MAC Cosmetics, like the Instagram, messaged me and they were like, hi, like, um, what's your PR, like, what's your address? We wanna send you stuff. So I clicked on it to make sure it wasn't like fake or anything and it was like legit. So I sent them my address and honestly I wasn't really expecting anything to come out of it because I get emails like that sometimes, sometimes you get stuff, sometimes you don't. So I wasn't really expecting to get anything, but I got a package and it made me so grateful because I was so in love with MAC and they were just like my, my ride or dies, like I just loved them so much and now they knew who I was enough to send me a package like it was just crazy to me that like they would do that I don't know like it just comes so full circle and it just makes me so grateful for you guys for watching me because if I didn't have um, followers and supporters honestly they wouldn't reach out to me do you guys know what I mean so all of you guys just make it possible for me to like live out my dream like little Seventh grade, eighth grade me is like crying on the inside because MAC Cosmetics reached out to me and sent me a limited edition collection. Thank you guys so much for watching this and also just thank you for the journey that you guys provide me. You guys know I love you guys so much. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see my last video, that is right here. And if you guys want to see my last fitness video, that is right here. I love you guys so much. Have a good one. Bye.